Back in June, McLaren confirmed that they would be joining the series for its second season. As well as taking a step into the future with their first all-electric car, they're also taking an important step towards gender equality in racing and announced that Emma Gilmore, who has driven for Veloce Racing twice this year, will be driving for the McLaren team in 2022, making her the first ever female driver for McLaren. She'll be racing alongside American off-road and drift star Tana Faust. To be racing in Papaya Orange, you know, again, I never imagined that was going to be happening. So uh, it is just so exciting and such an exciting series. It really uh, developed itself as it went along the, the 2021 season and it's just going to be even better and, and faster next year. I'm really excited to get in the, in the machine, the Odyssey 21. I mean, 650 uh, brake horsepower and electric is, is an awesome thing. But almost more importantly that I'm really excited to learn from the scientists on the boat. I'm a scientist myself with a molecular biology degree and I think with uh, some of the things that we're gonna be discussing and learning about from each different region in Extreme E, um, I can't wait to, to soak up that knowledge. I'm, I'm really interested to see uh, what's going on on the boat and what we can learn. McLaren also launched their Season 2 livery this year while at the COP26 Climate Conference in Glasgow. McLaren's CEO, Zach Brown, showed none other than Prince Charles around the papaya-coloured Odyssey 21 to get his royal seal of approval. Have you done a lot of motorsport in New Zealand? I have, yeah. It's all around what world, crazy so. stuff, I mean? Oh, I'm all rallying. So oh, rallying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy. crazy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to seeing, uh, as Extreme E develops, how we can continue to learn and build and use uh, Extreme E as a test bed for our technologies. With more world-class teams signing up for Season 2, the racing is sure to be better than ever.